Welcome back. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al-Khalifa met with His Holiness Pope Francis of the Vatican at his residence on the occasion of His Majesty's visit to the Vatican City. His Majesty the King arrived at the seat of the Pope where an official reception ceremony was held for His Majesty. Pope Francis was at the forefront to receive His Majesty welcoming him to the Vatican. His Majesty expressed thanks and appreciation to his Holiness for the warm welcome. His Majesty reviewed uh, with uh, His Holiness the deep-rooted bilateral relations, the cooperation between Bahrain and the Vatican, and the means to support it and bolster it to serve humanitarian causes, as well as the efforts of the two sides to enhance the values of tolerance, coexistence, brotherhood, and dialogue between people. His Majesty the King affirmed Bahrain's keenness on bolstering historical ties with the Vatican to consolidate the concepts of harmony, peace, and the promotion of global peace and stability. His Majesty recalled the visit of Pope Francis to Bahrain and his participation in Bahrain Dialogue Forum East and West for Human Coexistence with the Grand Imam of Al Azhar Sharif and Chairman of the Muslim Council of Elders, His Eminence Sheikh Dr. Ahmed Al Tayyib. His Holiness Pope Francis expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for his efforts in humanitarian noble initiatives for the interests of the people of the world and for Bahrain's hosting and organization of world conferences aimed at enhancing dialogue, mutual respect, tolerance and religious freedom. His Majesty the King hailed His Holiness's role in supporting dialogue, understanding between religions, cultures, civilizations, spreading the values of humanitarian brotherhood, tolerance and promoting coexistence among people of all affiliations. His Majesty affirmed that Bahrain will remain an oasis for coexistence between different religions and is considered a model to be emulated in coexistence and the respect for others, protecting their rights and practicing rituals and beliefs with Without any restrictions as mosques, churches and temples come together to embody the peace and tranquility in Bahrain as a symbol of the dialogue of civilizations and cultures. His Majesty expressed pleasure in Bahrain hosting the Islamic Christian Dialogue Conference organized in 2002, the Forum for Moderation Between Theory and Practice in February 2005, and the Forum for Dialogue of Civilizations in January 2008 within the framework of Bahrain's efforts to consolidate the image of the religion in general, or the region in general, and Bahrain in particular, as a gathering place for people of all sects and backgrounds, guaranteeing their rights to practice their rituals. The meeting discussed the events taking place in the Middle East and His Majesty hailed the wisdom of the Pope and his positions that support stability and peace in the region, reject violence and targeting innocent people and protecting civilians in accordance with international laws and conventions. His Majesty affirmed the importance of maintaining security and stability in the region to achieve the aspirations of his countries and people of development and prosperity. The Kingdom of Bahrain is a country where mosques, churches, synagogues and temples come together and where religious leaders from all over the world gathered in Sakhir Palace where His Holiness the Pope of the Vatican delivered his speech praising the spirit and essence of the Kingdom of Bahrain Declaration. The Kingdom of Bahrain Declaration is a document and global message written by His Majesty the King as a call and charter for the rejection of hatred and the promotion of peaceful coexistence globally. The Pope's analysis of it affirms the seriousness of the Kingdom's efforts to promote peaceful coexistence. The visit of His Majesty the King to the Vatican affirmed the Kingdom's keenness to strengthen historical ties with the country in a manner that consolidates the concepts of harmony and peace and promotes global stability. His Holiness the Pope expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty for his efforts and noble humanitarian initiatives for the interests of all the people of the world and for Bahrain's hosting and organizing global conferences aimed at promoting dialogue, mutual respect, tolerance and religious freedom. During His Majesty the King's visit to the Vatican in 2014, His Majesty met with the Pope of the Vatican and assured him that Bahrain is constantly working to promote the values of tolerance and coexistence between all religions, the approach of moderation and tolerance, the rejection of fanaticism and extremism, and the glorification of Islamic values which call for spreading peace and coexistence among all. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister also visited the Vatican, where he appreciated the tireless efforts made by His Holiness Pope Francis in building bridges of understanding and tolerance, noting the Kingdom's long history of embracing various cultures and religions. The agreement between the approach of the Kingdom of Bahrain and the approach of the Vatican is an agreement on authentic human and religious principles that raise the value of and honor human beings. 
His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al-Khalifa met with the President of Italy, Sergio Mattarella, at the Presidential Palace in Rome on the occasion of His Majesty's visit to Italy. Upon His Majesty the King's arrival, the President of Italy welcomed His Majesty and his visit, which constitutes a strong incentive to develop Bahraini-Italian relations. The two sides review the strong bilateral relations and means of developing and enhancing them to achieve common goals in addition to regional and international development and the developments in the situation in the Gaza Strip. As Mashi affirmed, the kingdom's approach that enhances security and stability and consolidates peace, which is achieved by giving the brotherly Palestinian people their legitimate rights and finding a just solution to the Palestinian cause, leading to a two-state solution in accordance with the Arab Peace Initiative and in a way that guarantees the right of the brotherly Palestinian people to establish their independent state with East Jerusalem as its capital. His Majesty the King also affirmed the importance of not escalating the situation and working to release any detainee civilians and protecting all civilians from being the target of any conflict in accordance with international humanitarian law. His Majesty stressed the need to open urgent humanitarian paths to bring medical and relief aid, food, water and electricity into the Gaza Strip and affirm Bahrain's full support of all coordination efforts towards achieving just peace, stability and security for all the people of the region. His Majesty the King expressed appreciation for Italy's important role on the international level and its contributions in serving international peace and security. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa met with the Prime Minister of Italy, Giorgia Meloni, at the Italian Prime Minister's office in Rome as part of His Majesty's ongoing visit to Italy. Reparto d'onore. Ah, tenti! Compagnia d'onore presenta Harm. Onori a sua maestà il regno del regno di Bahrain. Banda e compagnia d'onore della nautica militare pronti per la rassegna. His Majesty and the Italian Prime Minister reviewed the strong relations between the two countries and various aspects of cooperation and joint action that achieved their common interests. During the meeting, they discussed the latest regional and international developments and in particular developments in the Gaza Strip. 
His Majesty the King reaffirmed Bahrain's keenness to continue its approach to strengthen security and stability and consolidate peace in the region and its firm position towards finding a just solution to the Palestinian cause through giving the Palestinian people their legitimate rights in order to reach a two-state solution in accordance with the Arab Peace Initiative in a way that guarantees the right of the Palestinian people to establish their independent state with East Jerusalem as its capital. His Majesty underlined the importance of unifying efforts to avoid the escalation of the situation to work for the release of any detained civilians and to protect all civilians uh, who, under international humanitarian law, must not be the target of any conflict. His Majesty stressed the need to open urgent humanitarian corridors for the entry of medical and relief aid food, water and the provisions of electricity to Gaza, reaffirming that the kingdom supports the coordination of all efforts towards achieving a just peace, stability and security for all the people of the region. His Majesty expresses appreciation for the important role played by Italy at the international level in the service of international peace and security. His Royal Highness said the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa issued Edict 96 of the year 2023, appointing a director at the Information and E-Government Authority IGA based on a proposal by the Minister of Interior. The edict stipulates that Latifa Mohammed Al Abbasi shall be appointed as director of the Innovation and Advanced Technologies at the IGA. His Royal Highness also issued Edict 97 of the year 2023, appointing a director at the Ministry of Housing and Urban Planning based on a proposal by the Minister of Housing and Urban Planning. The edict stipulates that Ahmed Abdullah Saleh al Dawadi shall be appointed as Director of the Information Technology at the Ministry of Housing and Urban Planning. Under the patronage of the personal representative of His Majesty the King and President of the High Committee of Bahrain International Air Show, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the committee officially announced the launch of the new logo for the air show and the beginning of a new stage for the next decade following the air show's successes in the past 10 years, which affirms the importance of continuing to organize this international event whose foundations were laid by His Majesty the King. On the occasion, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad affirmed that the air show successes come in light of the directives of His Majesty the King to exert efforts to organize the air show and achieve success. He affirmed Bahrain's status and global leadership and the support and follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister on the importance of continuing to hold international exhibitions related to the aviation sector and enhancing initiatives aimed at developing and ensuring its sustainability as one of the promising economic sectors to contribute to the national economy. His Highness noted Bahrain's keenness on providing all potentialities and facilitations to ensure the success of the event and the wide participation of specialized world companies and consolidate or concluding major deals. His Highness praised the cooperation of all concerned parties and sponsors and their endeavors to make more successes and enhance the kingdom's progress. His Highness noted that all efforts made to make it this exhibition a success reflects the kingdom's interest and keenness to enhance its position in the international exhibition industry. His Highness explained that the design of the new logo comes part of the ongoing renewal and modernization strategy of the exhibition after 10 years of its successes. This step is implemented by the Supreme Committee to enhance the visual identity of the exhibition and reflect new developments and transformations in the aviation industry. The design reflects a modern and dynamic touch characterized by simplicity and elegance, making it easily recognizable and applicable to various means of communication and marketing. The Kingdom of Bahrain adopts very firm and well-established positions in supporting the Palestinian cause as it is the first central issue of the Arab and Islamic world and supports the legitimate rights of the brotherly Palestinian people. More in this report. The guidance of His Majesty the King in humanitarian and relief work receives appreciation from brotherly and friendly countries, especially with regard to the Palestinian cause. 
The Kingdom of Bahrain always reaffirms that the Palestinian cause is the first Arab issue and will remain the greatest priority. In light of the efforts of His Majesty the King to support peace and provide urgent aid to the Palestinians within the framework of Bahrain's position and approach to extend a helping hand to those in need. Aid for the brotherly Palestinian people comes within the framework of the Royal Humanitarian Foundation's keenness, under the directives of His Majesty the King, to provide aid in all ordeals over time. Since the launch of its first initiative to help the Palestinian people in 2009 by sending 180 tons of aid, sending medical and treatment missions, holding telethons on Bahrain television to collect donations, in addition to implementing development and social projects, such as building the Tel Al-Hawa School in 2012, a technology center to help blind students at the Islamic University of Gaza, the Children's Library at Al-Fakhura School, the Bahrain Public Library in Jerusalem in cooperation with the United Nations Development Program and Al-Quds University, expanding Jabalia School, building an integrated health center in Khan Yunus in cooperation with the UNRWA, which serves more than 130,000 people, financing projects for the Deaf and Mute Association in Deir al-Balah, and inaugurating the artificial limbs factory in the Gaza Strip and others. In light of the recent difficult humanitarian circumstances, His Majesty the King issued royal directives to provide urgent relief aid to the Palestinian people, which reflects the firm position of Bahrain's leadership, government and people towards the Palestinian cause. The Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa opened the Abdurrahman Kanu School in Diyar and the Nadine School in Dilmonia, located in Muharraq. In the presence of the Minister of Housing and Urban Planning, Amna Ramehi, the Minister of Education, Dr. Mohammed Jum'a, the Minister of Youth Affairs, Rawan Tawfiqi, and a number of officials and businessmen. Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah affirmed that the demand for investment in education in Bahrain is a unique and distinguished model of the successful partnership between the public and private sectors to provide various educational opportunities based on quality, innovation and sustainability. He stressed that this is an achievement of the goals of the comprehensive development process under the leadership of His Majesty the King with the follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. He noted that the government could continues to grant the private sector the necessary facilities to establish private educational institutions. The Deputy Premier noted the important role of private education institutions to raising the levels of human development witnessed by the Kingdom. He also praised the efforts of the Ministry of Education in cooperating with investors and providing them with the necessary facilities which contributed to increasing the number of private educational institutions. Upon opening Abdurrahman Khan School Diyar, the Deputy Prime Minister minister unveiled the commemorative plaque marking the school's official opening. Then the school's board of directors, Chairman Tariq Kanu, delivered a speech in which he thanked the deputy premier for visiting the school, affirming the completion of the vision of the late founder, Abdurrahman bin Jassim Kanu, of committing to the highest standards of knowledge and high-level professional and educational skills.
Then the deputy premier opened the Nadine School Delmonia and unveiled the commemorative plaque marking the school's official opening. Then the school's board of directors chairperson Shani Mouri delivered a speech in which she expressed pleasure with the deputy premier's visit. She noted that the school will hire the best educational caterers and will teach distinguished curricula. The minister of education expressed pride in the deputy premier's opening of the schools based on the kingdom's interest in education, affirming the ministry's support to educational projects in the private sector. The Attorney General, Dr. Ali al participated in the 15th annual meeting of the GCC Attorneys General and Prosecutors General, which was held in the Omani capital, Muscat. The Attorney General delivered a speech at the meeting in which he reviewed the decisions of the public representatives issued during the previous meetings to increase performance and adjust the work methods of public prosecution agencies to achieve GCC goals, which aims to unify curricula in all fields. He called for expanding training sources and developing capabilities Capabilities by holding training events in order to ensure complete success in confronting crime of all kinds. He noted that the contribution of public prosecution agencies in combating crime is based on two basic factors, the technical and scientific ability resulting from advanced training and the sincere judicial cooperation based on understanding. The Customs Affairs launched a management system for trucks issued through the King Fahad Causeway port. On the occasion, the Customs Affairs President, Sheikh Ahmed bin Hamad Al Khalifa, praised the support of the Minister of the Interior of this project, which facilitates the crossing of trucks within a quick time. He pointed out that the project comes within the framework of existing cooperation and coordination between Bahraini Customs Affairs, the Saudi Zakat Tax and Customs Authority, and the King Fahad Causeway Authority. The Secretary General of the Organization of Islamic Cooperation, OIC, Hussein Taha, received the credentials of Ambassador Sheikh Ali bin Abdurrahman bin Ali Al Khalifa as the permanent representative of Bahrain to the OIC at the headquarters of the Organization General Secretariat in Jeddah. The ambassador conveyed the greetings of His Majesty the King to the OIC Secretary General, praising the organization's efforts in strengthening joint Islamic action towards various issues, stressing Bahrain's keenness to continue coordination 
with the Organization for All that Serves Issues of the Islamic Nation. For his part, the OIC Secretary General expressed appreciation for Bahrain's important role under the leadership of His Majesty the King in strengthening solidarity and cooperation among the countries of the organization, wishing the ambassador continued success. In international news, the Saudi cabinet was shared by custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdelaziz al Saud in Riyadh. The cabinet reviewed or renewed Saudi Arabia's categorical rejection of calls for the forced displacement of the Palestinian people and demanded an immediate ceasefire, lifting the siege on Gaza and advancing the peace process in accordance with the UN Security Council resolutions and the Arab Peace Initiative aimed at establishing an independent Palestinian state within the 1967 borders with East Jerusalem as its capital. The cabinet went over the content of the talks between the kingdom and a number of countries concerning the ongoing escalation in Gaza and other related developments. Jordan's uh, King Abdullah II warned against trying to push Palestinian refugees into Egypt or Jordan, adding that the humanitarian situation must, uh, to, to be, must be dealt with in Gaza and the West Bank. Speaking at a news conference following a meeting with German Chancellor Olaf Scholz in Berlin, King Abdullah said uh, he believes that the plan by certain people is to try and create a de facto issue on the ground. The remarks come just ahead of a trip by Scholz to Israel and Egypt, where he hopes to de-escalate tensions and improve the situation for Palestinians seeking to flee the conflict zone. Jordanian and Egyptian officials have warned that any movement of refugees across their borders would constitute a regional threat. Saudi Arabia's Minister of Defense, His Royal Highness Prince Khalid bin Salman bin Abdelaziz Al Saud, received at his office in Riyadh the Minister of Defense of the Republic of Italy, Guido Crosetto. During the reception, both sides reviewed all aspects of Saudi Italian relations and promising opportunities for strengthening and developing them in the field of defense and military industries. The two sides also discussed the current military escalations in Gaza, its surroundings, and the efforts exerted in this regard, in addition to discussing a number of regional and international issues and developments of common interest. U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken announced that the United States and Israel agreed to work together to develop a plan that would allow aid to enter the Gaza Strip. Blinken said after nearly eight hours of overnight talks with the Israeli premier that both countries have agreed to develop a plan that will enable humanitarian aid from uh, donor nations and multilateral organizations to reach civilians in Gaza. Blinken said U.S. President Joe Biden would visit Israel this week to hear how it would minimize civilian casualties in its war efforts.